And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Hecarim Thresh. Got a good looking donation deck here that we're about to play. It's mostly all Shadow Isles, just playing three Ionia cards, seven total uh, Ionia cards, which is important because we're playing the Shadow Isles Allegiance card Wraith Caller. A card that I really like. I think this card's really strong. Get that Mist Wraith in here. We have regular Mist Wraiths as well. Um, definitely like that. Then we have Chronicler of Ruin that has the combo with the Wraith Caller. So I'm liking all that kind of stuff. Um, as far as early game, besides that, we also have uh, Dead Bloom Wanderer, good little lifesteal blocker. Um, lifesteal is really important right now with all the aggro running around. Shadow Assassin getting that card draw. And then we got some awesome top end. In the mid game, we got Thresh and Hecarim. Those are our two champions. And that's that's basically what I just named the deck. I guess called it Hecarim Thresh. Could, didn't really know what else to title this deck, to be honest. I just went with that. Um, yeah, both of those, uh, like, good bodies, 5-5, five, 3-6. Five, they can match up against Noxus cards and stuff like that. Like, you, you need large bodies in the mid game these days. And then it, when they die, we have Rekindler to bring them back. And also Harrowing to bring them back. And Harrowing with Hecarim is a, a huge combo and a game winner for sure. So it looks pretty good. Let's give it a try. Um, Hecarim Thresh, we're going to go play five games over in Ranked. See how it does. And we're going to turn our luck around. Okay, we're gonna mulligan all those. I'll keep Wraith Caller. Cool. Just to have like the floor of at least having Wraith Caller on turn four. We should go over to the Shadow Isles board. We played this board earlier today. I just kind of had this board on from the, the import the deck list. Yeah, I forgot to change it. We should go over Shadow Isles, though. Yeah, drawing one drops is is really bad in the late game. So yeah, so I understand not having any any one drops in the deck. There there aren't any, that great of ones either. Wow, Omen Hawk into Crimson Disciple. That's living the dream. Let me show you. Our Basilisk aggro deck had Omen Hawk and Crimson Disciple. We never did that a single time. They're dear what they're doing here. I love a taste of the action. Good. Got the Mist Wraith. Hit the Allegiance trigger. That's good. And I want damage to happen first, and then I'm going to try Withering Whale. Hopefully kill all this stuff. That'd be nice, but I, I want the damage to happen first before I do anything else with that. Nothing's going to be easy today. Nothing's going to be easy. Okay, so that worked pretty well. And I don't mind the Braum having to take heart because we have Will of Ionia, so I don't really mind that. Right? 
I didn't bounce last turn because they could just replay Braum. They will, of course, be able to get uh, in another Poro now with the new Braum. We haven't had anything like special die with die for, as far as heroin goes. <clears throat> okay. All right, so I'm doing the the grass the undying first to try to kill to kill Brom during combat here because of take heart. So I don't want I don't want uh, them to do damage and then I go grass the undying and then they play. Um, that's gonna be a problem. And then they play take heart to keep it alive. And that's gonna be a problem. Okay, not as not as big of a problem. I like killing Leviathan over killing Swain. But they're doing, you know, attacking for five here, doing all that damage. That's a problem card for sure. I wonder if I should just cast Glimpse Beyond on this 2 2 and just draw two cards. Would that make sense to do? I don't know. It's kind of weird playing this, you know, no Thresh, no Hecarim, no Rekindler. Oh no. Okay, yeah, no, no, we did get the one that stayed alive. Okay, good. I thought I thought with Wraith Caller coming out first that we'd get one that would stay alive. Yeah, so the, the Mist Wraith stays alive. Okay, we tossed both Rekindlers. I, I knew we would toss one Rekindler, okay, but we tossed both of them. And of course, tossing doesn't help you get closer to the champions, right? So like, we're not we're not digging towards champions when we're tossing cards. Okay, so we're going to. Glimpse there. Well, I don't know. I kind of like doing the three damage to the. To the Swain. No, we're, we're glimpsing. Glimpse is the play. Mist Caller and Mist Wraith. I think those two cards are, are really strong. Yeah, kind of my, my shoulder here. I used to I used to play tennis, uh, not baseball, but yeah, same kind of thing. Yeah, so like just serving and stuff. My shoulders are kind of sore, and just also, just in general, I you know I sit down too much with like the hunched shoulders kind of thing. You know, like forward was sitting down too much. That's why I like 
streaming standing up some, but yeah, both my shoulders, my top of my back, all that's always just kind of too tight. Okay, Brom and Swain. Could Ruination. Don't really want to. I'm going to do this and draw a card. I still have uh, Withering Whale right now that can take out um, take out Swain. Sure, they get a they get a three three from Braum. They're gonna get a three three from Braum anyway. That's a good question. I only have seven cards left. Okay, I guess I need to be worried about that. I didn't really think about how many cards I have left. <laughs> Yoga should help. Uh, do you have do you have a, a link? So you said you use a clip from Dr. K. Do you have a link to that? I've tried yoga, I've tried some yoga stuff, but just like the, the little yoga thing, you know, like app on the phone, I think, or YouTube video or whatever I was trying. Because I tried that kind of recently, but it would just go super fast through the different stretches and kind of need more like a, a stretching guide than a yoga guide or I don't know. Yeah, if you, you can find it and link it, feel free to do that. I... I have been doing more stretches. I found a good YouTube video about uh, stretches for like tight upper back and lower back and stuff, and it's been really good. Anyway, back to the game. Let's see. Looking like we got to find a way to win in just a few cards. Hecarim could help that if we draw Hecarim. I'm trying to incentivize them to play more stuff, and then I ruination. They're not going to play more stuff, though. pretty well and we have deny so we should have this GG. there we go love it back to playing mid-range with uh, large units there we go. this is going this is gonna go well we're gonna get that 5-0 I, it said that the video was one minute and 16 seconds long, and I was like, what? And then I realized that's the ad before the video. Okay, so yeah, it's this. All right, cool. I will save this. Thank you, Homework Anxiety. I, I appreciate that. All right, so playing against the removal deck, we don't really need the Dread Bloom Wander against the removal deck. You know, we don't want to... We don't want to mill ourselves out. <laughs> and then obviously they're going to be super aggressive. Alright, 
in our mist wraiths. Love to draw Wraith Caller. Wraith Caller. Wraith Caller is like sneakily the one of the strongest cards in our deck, but then also sneakily one of the strongest cards <clears throat> in the format. It just looked like an aggro deck over there. There you go, bummer. Got your second gauntlet. 7-0, good job, way to go. Pretty awkward hand drawing like the nines, this, the nine drop, seven drop, that kind of stuff. Pretty awkward. Sorry, Hardy. My bad, I'm sorry. I'm always up for a round or two. Soak it in. Like, what are we supposed to do? Like, none of these cards. Cast Chronicler Ruin, I guess. Yeah, late game secured. Game secured. Say your Do not draw the three best cards in our deck Wraithcaller, Thresh, Hecarim. One of those. Miss the Shen Lux. I, I do like that deck quite a bit. Shen Lux is good. So many Yordle Grifters. And they're all hitting. Every single one of our Yordle Grifters missed when we played our, our Yordle Grifter deck last game. Every single one. Kind of silly. for like three or four. Hey Togrek. Some days it's just not your day. That's how today's been for us. Not our day. All the dreams that we, you know, we wish we could have done anything like that with our Twisted Fate deck. But. Oh well. Been wanting to try Shen Vi. Okay. Yeah, no, the Shen Lux deck's good. Um, if, let's see. I can get you the deck list. Um, I know it says that we went two and three, but we have not had any luck at all today um, with, as far as opponents go. Opponents have 
had kind of everything. But I, I think that, that Shen Lux deck is, is well positioned. We played it yesterday and we were three and one when we played it yesterday. The Health Potion and the Purify, those can be different cards. Um, in fact, I did, or no, I did play Purify, but you can also play Deny and Concerted Strike if you want to change those two cards up. Could play another Mage Seeker Persuader or another Will of Ionia as well. But I like that deck, and I think that deck's well positioned. Hey, Swear Slow. Ah, didn't get the notification. We'll check, check the schedule. I don't even know. Does this do? Is this command a thing? I should probably make that a command. If you check the schedule page. Uh, here on Twitch, there's there's a tab. Like if you're if you're on mobile, it's not there. But if you're on on the the website, there's a tab that says schedule. And if you click on that, it tells you your the schedule in your local time zone of when I stream every day: Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Those are all early streams. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, late streams. So what do, you, what do you think was the problem with the with that file feast right there? What was the problem with that? And it's better to save the file feast. Is there anything in particular that's better for saving for? Oh, just because it's a 1-1 a one -one that Braum can challenge? We're certainly relying on on Wraith Caller. We we can win this with with the back with you know on the back of Wraith Caller, Wraith Caller, Chronicler of Ruin, Wraith Caller. We can win this on the back of those cards, but it's not going to be easy. Okay, so this was the card that Crimson Curator just created whenever whenever I blocked. Take heart. I blocked the three four because of take heart. Everything's burst beat. Take heart transfusion. You don't get to deny anything. I'd love to cast deny on a spell. I don't even know if we'll even have a deny target. Ah, oh, just create another one. Cool. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? Oh, I didn't change. I didn't change the 
Um, Come, Clara, we have much to I didn't change the board. Y'all never remind me, I need to change the board. This board has been really bad luck. That's that's your fault. I'd never keep my guests waiting. Four out of six. Let's see what they're made of. So hopefully Grass the Undying will kill Vladimir, hopefully. Try to understand. Never mind. Now it, now it has regeneration. One wraith caller die. We need more wraith callers to die. Possible that we'll play this whole game and not. In fact, it's likely that we'll have nothing to deny ever. For the Empire. Yeah, I guess I deny that thing. I mean, that gives me something to deny. <sighs> I guess. <laughs> we can at least cast the card and get it out of our hand. The, the reason why I may not want to do that is I may, you know, like if I wanted the, the 12 mana this turn, that would be the reason not to do that. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be denying this Vladimir skill. Uh, that's 100% happening. Now, we'll block. Yeah, I could, like, Withering Whale will take, like, I'm only going to gain one life from Withering Whale because of Crimson Disciple. No, I mean, this is going to just do too much damage to me, I think. This, this skill. That worked out well for me. They used Take Heart on this thing. I feel like they should have used Take Heart on like, I don't know, like Vladimir, keep Vladimir alive or something. It's not like this 5-3 is going to be me. So that worked out well. And then we can Harrowing. Get a couple of Wraith Callers back, which will make Mist Wraiths still uh, stay around. Opponent, why are you so slow? Oh, 
don't know why are you so slow yeah I think we got this one too I think we're gonna be two and one and then we're gonna head over to our Shadow Isles board and then have even more luck after that Triple Wraith Caller. No, all three of those cards. I mean, the, the ruination was the, the thing that broke this open. If you do run in, Alfredo, if you run into opponents that are like spamming the emotes, you can click this button right up here and that mutes them. Um, so if you do play against somebody that ha that's um, spamming emotes, you can mute them like that. Now this is going to be better. That that slow hum of the Ionia board put me to sleep. Need to... Oh, let's update our record. We're 2-1. and one. We've played against some de different decks with Noxus, but we have played against Noxus for um, at least eight games in a row. At least eight in a row. I know all five Twisted Sejuani's were all the Bacillus Riders, and then all three, all three of these. I guess this is number four now, so nine. Oh, no, no, we played against Twisted Ezreal. Never mind, that broke it up. The Twisted Ezreal broke it up. Wanderer or no Wanderer? Yeah, never mind, Twisted Ezreal broke that up. I think I just said Twisted Wanderer. I think I did. Don't let the fluffy tails fool. You. Not even fooled in the slightest. Let the bloodshed begin. Hmm. so much, Curd Bros. Man, I appreciate that, Curd Bros. I'm doing good. I hope I hope you're doing great. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Rune Terror is a lot of fun. You know, if you if you uh, you know have the time, want to try it out, you can download it on mobile. Uh, you you can earn the uh, there's tons of rewards. You can earn the cards. It's a lot of fun to play. A lot of it's really skill intensive too. Okay. Now let's just go chronicler. Pump those things up even more. Okay, not not rewarded. 
playing Chronicler. Yeah, happy fourth weekend, yeah. Happy America birthday. Cool, yeah, love, love you try it out. Seeing you around here. Get on some of your own speed. Question was, should I be playing um, three Chronicler or is two enough? Um, I could see playing three Chronicler. Two is also enough. I mean, I, I, I could be convinced of either, either one of those numbers, either two or three. I would not like one. It's either two or three. We will not fail. You know, kind of if you got, if you got room for another. It's not a bad card to play. There's just going to be some games. Oh my gosh, that thing's a 6-6. Six, six. Why was I thinking that thing was going to be a 4-4? Four, four? I forgot. I was just kind of talking and looking at my own cards here. That was dumb. That was dumb. I mean, I should have just attacked with 3-3 three, three also. I should have just attacked with everything. I think 2 is the best number. That's... Yeah, I'm Cute. happy with any number. No They're afraid they should. It's a good combination. These blade, tw like you know, blade twirler for being a two mana card. I can't kill it. Here's our chance. It's a good combination. Give me a little one one to block with. I've been wave with the donation deck. Thank you, Evan Wave. Okay, fun meme to your Monday deck. Cool. Perfect. Didn't I have... Oh, and then Bachi. Bachi also had the donation deck for first tomorrow. Yeah, so if I if I if I glimpse beyond the spider, then they don't get to pick Katarina back up, correct? I'm gonna just let damage happen like this, and then if whatever four mana spell they have, I can respond with my own if they wanna go like you know, like barrier on this thing. Okay, they're gonna go culling strike there. Um 
I'm going to deny. They have these in the wrong order. They've, they've been doing so good of not putting those in the wrong order. They just put them in the wrong order this time. I dare you. They had been doing so good about that. I don't want to allow them to play... I don't want to play Hecarim and then they play something that stuns or recalls, you know, like Yone, that kind of stuff. Good. Vengeance is good. No going back. Ooh, okay, Tara. Harris said, if I win this game, I'll get 10 subs. I will be, I'll be trying. So we're going to Vengeance, the thing that attacks for more and also just always stays in play. They have to keep spending four mana each time for this Katarina. Yeah, we're not in the, the best spot. But they're afraid. They should be. Blood for Noxus. It's too late for you. But yeah, it's doable. I wish I could play Hecarim and have Will of Ionia next turn. have to bounce it. Alright, that was good. That keeps them from getting the 3-2. We kind of restart... be good if they don't have if they don't have deny but if they have deny I just I lose on the spot if I play that because they just go deny Katarina um man I can't I can't triple spell with these I can only double spell so I might as well go Hecarim and then Chronicler Hecarim Because they they stun Hecarim, and then I Chronicler it. Yeah, or I could go Wraith Caller. If if they just bounce, I go Wraith Caller. If I could have gone Wraithcrawler and Chronicler and Wander, I would have gone that route. I go with the road to mm. Should 
should not have attacked. Should not have attacked. But he never gets any lighter. Yep, GG's. Dang. All right, didn't win. Two and two. That Fey Blade Twirler. That was the card. Like, I had to use... Like, just that one Fey Blade Twirler killed a bunch of my stuff, did a bunch of damage to me, and I used a Will of Ionia on it, and I used a Vengeance on it. So much stuff for that stupid Fey Blade Twirler. Yep. No sub. All good. Yeah, Faye, Faye Blade Twirler, quick attack. Couldn't stop it. Expensive hand, but a hand that I really like. It's really hard for me to mulligan Wraith Caller. Um, and playing against elusives, need those withering whales. Could be my downfall not wanting to mulligan a wraith caller. This is the worst card for me to see. It not like it dies to withering whale, which that's good, but it it can pump up other things to not die to withering whale, which that's the big problem. Okay, good. Didn't pump up Green Glade Duo. Didn't make it a 3-2. That's good. So, so far, so good. Do not fear the shrouded path. It was good. Yeah, 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 Zed. It's definitely the one thing. Choose them to have, you know, not have something, or be not, don't have Zed. Choose one thing, it'd be don't have Zed on turn three. Only the worthy survive. Remember the plan. We go as one. Don't think I'm winning this. Again, sad, but we'll see. They haven't played anything that got pumped up by Omen Hawk yet, and so they still probably have a bunch of elusives. Maybe a bunch of elusives that got pumped up by Omen Hawk. Wow, nothing else to play. That is surprising. They only need to do nine damage to me. The box could be nice next turn. They try playing a bunch of stuff, but they have like Green Glade Duo and some other stuff. Never mind. Uh, I guess I guess we will have Ruination Mana next turn, but it's not you know fast speed like where we can keep on passing. My life for the order.
Play something expensive. Hoping they play something expensive, and then we Ruination. Yay! That'll work. Alright, feeling a lot better about this game now. No, can't play that. No! No! Oh, my plan was to go double two of those and, you know, attack them for a whole lot, put a lot of pressure on them. looks like. Must not be very good. Today you are King That's the thresh they know about. certainly have, you know, like Elixir of Iron, something like that, so it been safer to just use Will of Ionia, but I don't really mind blocking with Shadow Assassin. Gain 3 life, go to 12. Do I want Thresh to die or not die? If I have Thresh die, then we can bring it back with Rekindler. Or I could keep it alive. I think it's probably better just to keep it alive. With just how, how like everything else matches up. All right, got a three and two. Okay, so yeah, I like, I like this deck. I mean, we didn't have the best of, like, curves with our champions. You know, like, hardly ever having, like, Hecarim there and stuff. Um, let's see. Not sure, like, what too much to change. The one thing that I, I could see playing is just playing another 2-drop. Like, Mist Rate's good. Um, but even in this kind of deck, uh, the card that's really underrated, in my opinion is arachnoid sentry where are you at horror sorry not sentry horror arachnoid horror there we go i think this card's really underrated i think this is a is a really good two drop with the fearsome compare with the mist race also with the fearsome and stuff like that like it's always trading well i understand not wanting to play one drops because the one drops don't do a whole lot um but this could be this could be if if you know like you want to lower the curve if you don't think you need to lower the curve then then you know perfectly fine um, but if you do feel like you want to lower the curve with some of the stuff, this is the card. This is the two drop to look at because, of course, you you don't want you know like you want your allegiance to be hitting with wraith collar, and there's just another card that pairs with all of those. Um, so yeah, it's an underrated one. I could even see playing this card instead of some number of wanderer with how we saw like once you start tossing too much, uh, if you draw too many wanderers and then like harrowing with wanderer, like that can be a big problem. I could see taking out a, like a you know, like taking out, like playing like two wander, one horror, for example. Uh, just even that small little change. Um, but then if you want any of these other things, like, like Rekindler is obviously great. We never got to Rekindler. Like we were just weren't really playing our champions. And the couple of times we did play a champion, we played like the 
you know, the one time we played a Thrash and one time we played a Hecarim, they just got bounced with Will of Ionia. Um, I'm not a big fan of Deny. I think, but others are, but that could be another card to kind of cut um, for an Arachnid Horror. Just things to think about. But that that'd be the... That'd be the two drop if you want to lower it up. All right, that's Hecarim Thresh. Those y'all watch on YouTube, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate everybody watching the videos. It means a lot to me. And, and of course, everybody here in chat as well. Um, yeah, and uh, feel free to leave those comments. You know, anything, questions, uh, decks you want to see, you know, anything like that. Um, I always like seeing those too. But thank you so much for watching some Hecarim Thresh, and I'll see you for the next video.